Hello everyone to another video. Today we're going to make a iron farm for 1.16 Java. I hope you enjoyed this video and let's begin. First, to create this farm, you will need these supplies for your farm. First, build up three blocks. Then, put down your cauldron. Place down three blocks. And then, place down two temporary blocks. This will be where you put your beds. These are temporary blocks, just, in, just keep in mind. Now, get out your cobblestone or any block you want and build a little headrest like this. Then, place your remaining cauldron, that should be three cauldrons. And then, use your slab, place it on top as a temporary block. Now, Build around your bed so that the villagers that you will place later can't escape. Now place down a slab so that the villagers won't escape from here. You can see the villagers can't get out, which is a good thing. They can get out. That means there's a problem, so check if anything's broken. This block is broken so that you can build a staircase for the villagers to come up here. And then after you have the villagers inside, be sure to place it back because they will escape. Now, when you transport all the villagers to all three villagers here, you can use boats and a bell to direct them into the compartment. But since I am in creative, and it will make the video a lot quicker, I'm not gonna do that. Now, break the temporary blocks like so. Do not break any blocks I have not broke. Pause the video if you have to, but do not break the blocks I did not break. Leave this here so you can use it as a template. Now, after you have destroyed the temporary blocks, place back the block I said to destroy before if you have creative mode and have a villager egg. Now place down the villager eggs. Now, in the middle of the cauldrons, build up three blocks, then put a slab, and then build out by one block, and then go like so around the little barrier that we, br we built previously, like so. This will create a roof so that lightning cannot turn these villagers into witches because it would block the lightning. If you don't do this, then during a lightning storm, it will turn the villagers into witches, which you definitely don't want. Now, break the three temporary blocks and you should be done for the roof. Now for the zombie trap. Get your oak trap door and place it down like this. Now open the trap doors. Now 
now place some temporary blocks so it's easier to get the zombies inside. Because I have creative, I'm going to use a zombie egg, but you can lure them in. Now take out your zombie egg and place the zombie. Make sure not to close the gate. Also as a quick notice, the zombie cannot be a baby zombie. To make sure this works, it can only be a adult zombie. Now, as quickly as possible, put a half slab on top. Now, destroy the temporary blocks like so. Now, get an anvil and your name tag. Be sure to name the name tag in the render distance of the zombie so that they cannot despawn before you put on the name tag. Now put on the name tag. Now make a 3x3 three three block hole. After you're done, place down your gates like so. And then place a gate in one of the corners. And then open them out towards outside. Then place water on the opposite end of the gate that you just placed. Like so. And then get a trap door and place it beneath the gate that you placed last which is this one as you can see. Now, place down the string on all four gates like this, not the gate below, but the four gates as seen here. Now, place the lava above the gate as shown here. Now, break the blocks on the four corners as shown like this. Now, place four blocks like this and do it on all four holes. So it's five blocks like that, counting the hole. Because my area is not flat, I have to make it flat. So you may have to do this as well, but it is suggested to find a flatter area than this. Now I'll place the water like this on all four corners. Do not place the water on the side corners as that will break the machine and you definitely don't want that, do you? From here, dig down 5 blocks and then dig this way 2 blocks, this way 2 blocks as well. Now you should find the trapdoor, then dig a little room. This room will vary on size depend on what you want, but I will do a 3x3x3 three by three by three hole. Now, get out your hoppers and your chests. Place them like so, and then place the hoppers facing towards the chests like this. Now you might have noticed the top chest won't open, so for that I suggest using stairs facing that direction and for the one like this, you can face whatever direction you want. Now it should be able to open. To get out, use scaffolding. That 
will be very useful to getting out. And I suggest it because it's better than ladders. Now, destroy the temporary blocks so the villagers can see the zombie. And then break the trap doors here, and you should be done. A iron golem spawned immediately. Once a iron golem spawned, I suggest building a little wall around it so that no other mobs will come in because that is very bad and may ruin the machine. Now, destroy the block here, so that the iron golem can come here and meet their fiery death below. After a few seconds, you should be able to see some iron and some poppies. You can use the irons to whatever you want, and you can use the poppies to make bone meal. This video took a bit too long to create, but I hope you enjoyed it. Also, please subscribe as I want to hit 1000 subscribers at the end of this year. Also, a small percentage of people are subscribed. Actually, 0.01%. So please subscribe. It's totally free and you can unsubscribe anytime later. Thank you.